So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take two different test tubes here. And each test tube has a metal wire kind of running up along it. We're gonna just barely place it over that metal lip. Spin that around so that you can see it nicely. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take that and hook it up to the negative and positive terminals of a battery. So the black there to the negative and the red there to the positive. When we do that, we see two different gases being produced at different rates. What we're going to do is we're going to look at how much of each one we get and what each one is. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in and speed this video up so you can see that go a little faster. So now we're getting to the point where we're at about 10 milliliters in here and at about 5 milliliters in here. And hopefully you could have seen that there was a 2 to 1 ratio of the two gases the whole time, this one being twice as much as this one. Now we're going to go ahead and zoom back out and kind of see what the identity of these two gases are. So to do that we're going to do a little splint test. And I'm going to let the reaction keep going while I test this one here because I want this one to fill up a little bit more. So first I'm going to go ahead and take this tube. Empty out the solution here. Okay, so that right there, that little mini explosion there, is indicative that we had hydrogen gas at this end of the container. So we had twice as much hydrogen gas as whatever the gas is that's in the other component of this. So I'm going to let that run for a little bit longer, and we'll go ahead and speed this back up again, and we'll come back and check out where that is. Okay, so we're now at a point where we can go ahead and test this. So to do that, I'm going to take a splint, ignite it. Sorry about that. Just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and put that out. And we're going to use that to test this. Okay. So we can see there that, get that candle out of the way. The glowing splint reignites in there, which indicates that there's oxygen present inside of that tube. So what we're showing is that we have two times as much hydrogen gas being produced as oxygen gas over here. 